Right, I'm going to have the sound right down for this uh, because it's a tutorial, really. Um, I'm sorry if that means that you don't get quite so much atmosphere from it. We're going to start off from the aircraft carrier here. And the point of this tutorial is to teach you about flying on your wingtips when you need to manoeuvre through a narrow space like a canyon. Um, there's going to be plenty of time to show you before we get there. So full thrust here taking off from the aircraft carrier. Watch flaps just to give you a little bit of extra lift and then hit the afterburn button. It's like a winch there as well. Get you rid of your gear as soon as you possibly can and also don't forget to put your flaps back. Now we're heading over here. Now as you see I'm on my wing tips now. And this is the concept I'm going to be taking. Suppose I'm flying through a canyon, I want to turn left and right. Suppose I press the rudder pedals. This is how fast the left rudder pedal works. This is how the rudder pedal works. I'm not going to survive a canyon like that. Equally, if I try to fly straight and level for most of it, if I think of myself as wanting to be level and turning and then getting level again, look how long that takes as well. So you have to get your head around the concept that you are just going to fly on your wingtips. And you can actually use your rudder pedals. This is the first thing you can do for minor adjustments to height. When you're flying on your wing wingtips, this can be very effective. As you see, the rudder is very effective for managing your height. It doesn't seem as effective when we're flying straight and level. Those turns don't seem to achieve much. But when you're changing your angle of attack, it has a massive effect. Okay, so you're changing your angle of attack there. Now here we are on the zero line. As we go into the, through the canyon, if I want to turn left, I'm going to pull back on the stick. If I want to turn right, I'm going to push down on the stick. But if I just keep that predictor where it is, I'm going to start to descend more. What we have to be doing generally then, if we want to be just making sure we're always slightly ascending, is pulling back on the stick as if it's the U shape of an egg cup, the side of an egg cup, and then back the other way, again, like it's an egg cup. Do you see how I've made that U shape there? I'm describing a U shape there. That's a U shape. And letting the U shape just... Let's, let's use a bit of rudder here to get back down. We're not actually going into the canyon yet for the for this. We will in a second properly go into the canyon. But just now I'm dipping below the line there, below the horizon, and back up above the horizon. And if I need to turn, I just continue rotating. That's another important concept to grasp. If I've got something wrong, or if I'm suddenly caught out with, but here's our U shape, just keep rotating in the same direction. Don't think, oh, I've got to correct back that way. Try to, if you can, um, always continue your rotation in the same direction for making fast adjustments. So we can um, we can go into the canyon now and get onto the wingtips and start to think about this egg cup. There it is. There's the U shape. And there it is back the other way. See, just to make sure and I'm above the horizon, I don't need the egg cup now, but now I'm below it, now I do. Egg cup. Egg cup. And pull over. Now I'm below the horizon, need to get the egg cup. Egg cup. And now I need to turn the other way, so just carry on rotating in the same direction. To save time, vital time. Egg cup. Okay. Egg cup, back that way, and now round this sharp corner here, ready for the next corner, head for the outside of the bend, ready for the next corner, egg cup, and back, and now it looks like we're going to have a left hander, so we're just going to do a normal rotation anti-clockwise this time, egg cup. Just to get that little bit of height. Keep rotating in the same direction there. Egg cup. Egg cup. See how I did that? Pushing egg cup first. Doesn't matter which you do first. 
egg cup to the left of the U, egg cup to the right of the U, egg cup to the left of the U. Look how much height I've gained there just from that. And we're through the canyon with really focusing on, really only focusing on the egg cup. I was not really focusing on the rocks and the peril. <laughs> you know, um, if you really focus on that U shape, on that egg cup, instead of focusing on the peril and the rocks, you will actually find it easier to get through there. Again, there's my horizon. Always be looking at that horizon and making sure your U shape just intersects with it. And this is where your memory comes in. You need to remember what was the next turn. And I know it's a left-hander now. Big left-hander. Egg cup. Keep rotating the same direction. Don't bother trying to turn back. We're slightly below the horizon, so we need to egg cup that. We need to egg cup back the other way. And we need to now pull back and just realign. And now I'm going to use a tiny bit of rudder pedal just for this because... It's a nice straight section. And just rotate this, just continue in the same direction I was. There's a big swinging left hander here. Again, using your memory, using that memory map. And then we'll be going back to the right. We can actually level out here. Luxury of flying level for a moment. And another left hander here. There's the horizon. You see, we're below it. We just need to egg cup and egg cup again and just carry on rotating in the same direction. Bit of rudder pedal. There we are above the horizon now. Back on the stick. Egg cup and rotate. Egg cup and rotate. And now under the bridge. Touch a rudder. Under the bridge, straight up, and that's it, we are there. That's the canyon twice now, and just on wingtips. That's the key. The key is this is how you fly through the canyon. You need to get comfortable with being like that. That needs to be your default for canyon flying. You need to think of the world 90 degrees from where it normally would be and you might have a face side you've got to try and neutralize that idea so that you don't care whether you're flying on your port wing or your starboard wing you need to neutralize that idea um, you may need to not have favorites you mustn't have favorites when you're flying a jet fighter so that's my very short tutorial on canyon flying um, I hope it helps some of you just get hold of that concept of that U-shape. Always be looking at your artificial horizon, that, that line right there. Um, and make sure that that horizon, that you are describing a nice U-shape that just intersects it like that. Always intersecting that. You've got to trust your zero line. You've got to really trust it. Um, I won't be able to land on the carrier because this is... Um, a free flight without the land component, so it's not going to let me land on the fighter on the on the uh, the uh, carrier. But I can do a pretend landing for you, and we'll we'll do a touch and go on it, which is even more crazy. Uh, just to finish this tutorial off, so let's take our speed down. We are on right base, as you can see. Let's allows you to add the flaps at very high speed this simulator for some reason it's a bit odd so i just I'm doing that now but that's very bad practice but we're below 300 knots we really can genuinely add the gear now get the gear out and now i'm using rudder for height even here because i like to see that line come over on the top left on my predictor on my map and just pull back on the stick at the last minute to get in line with the runway. Just use the rudder for height, but use the stick to just pull back at that very last moment, and there we are, bang in line with our carrier. And we're going to do this pretend landing. In fact, when you land on a carrier, 
you should really be on full thrust at the point you land, just in case. Just in case that, that line snaps. Um, for any reason you have to go around, you need to be at takeoff speed. So you need to be landing a bit faster than normal. You know, perhaps around the 200 knots or even above mark 220, 230 even. Looks like that, um, looks like that ship is been changing course a little bit there. So I don't even know if we can get onto that. We might just be doing a flyby. Just a flyby. I just touched the earth there just for you. And that was pretty much bang on the 230 knots. Get rid of that gear so we can have our maneuverability and our climbing abilities back. Um, um, canyon tutorial.